A gorgeous family, millions of dollars, his rise has been merely incredible. He was honored to be voted a top 10 player in the NFL by his peers in 2024, but the Condor was not always considered one of the best players. In fact, Crosby nearly missed his chance to make it to the league due to a heavy struggle with alcohol. In his early days, Crosby was closer to a write-off than an Eastern Michigan football icon, but as NFL offenses know, you can't deny a guy like Crosby. This is the story of how a two-star recruit became the greatest defensive end ever. Whether you like it or not, you'll be hearing more and more about Max Crosby. He's a lethal quarterback hunter. He's the Tasmanian devil when blowing up the run. He is notorious for being Patrick Mahomes' arch nemesis. But even more, he is turning around one of the lousiest franchises for the past two decades into a winner. But back in 1997, when Crosby was born, he was just an average kid from Michigan. Crosby was born in Michigan, but his family moved to Texas when he was in middle school. He grew up with brothers, which nurtured his competitive spirit. Growing up in his older brother's shadow was a challenge for Max. His brother was tall, skinny, and handsome, while Max was the chubby and red-headed middle child. It caused him to be mad and made him want to fit in. He was ranked as a two-star athlete coming out of Colleyville Heritage High School. He was offered only one scholarship from Eastern Michigan. The slim kid from Colleyville, Texas, did not have a promising start to his football career. If he were to judge his chances of making it to the NFL at this point, there was no chance but Max pressed on to reach his goal. His agent, C.J. LeBoy, shares his first experience with Max. He said, The very first time I met him, he looked dead in my eyes without any hesitation and said, I'm going to be one of the best players in the league, LeBoy related. I remember walking out of there and being like, this kid's a little crazy, but at the same time, his confidence is undeniable. He totaled 162 tackles, 20 sacks, 41 tackles for loss, one interception, and eight forced fumbles in his three years of play at Eastern. Playing at a small school, compared to the big ones did not help his chances of being drafted high. Before the draft, NFL.com ranked Max as an average backup or special teamer. The scouting report by Lance Zierlein stated that Max is a developmental, long-limbed defensive end who needs a year or two of bulking up before he's ready to see the field. He's long and flexible and will flash on tape as both the rusher and run defender, and those traits could outweigh his poor contact balance and play strength for some teams. If he grows into his gangly frame, Crosby offers a higher ceiling than some day three prospects he could be lumped in with. Matt Miller from Bleacher Report said that his play strength is way below average, will be tagged as a developmental project over a media contributor. With his physical traits and appearances working against him, he also had a problem with drinking and partying, which NFL teams also had to take into consideration. On April 27, 2019, John Gruden, Mike Mayock, and the Oakland Raiders drafted Max Crosby with the 106th overall pick in the fourth round of the 2019 NFL draft. Rewinding back to the season before, on September 1, 2018, Raider fans were flabbergasted by headlines of Khalil Mack being traded to the Chicago Bears for a haul of draft picks. Cornerstone defensive players do not grow on trees, and the Raiders have not had many in a dreadful drought since their last visit to the Super Bowl in 2002. The funny thing was they lost to Gruden and the Buccaneers. Fast forward to the time of the Mack trade, Gruden was brought back to the organization by Mark Davis and traded away a cornerstone player. Khalil Mack took a money-first approach to get a new deal after finishing the fourth year of his rookie contract, never showing up to the team facilities in a holdout because he wanted a new and larger one. Mack's departure left a gaping hole in the defense. But upon Max Crosby's arrival and after completing his first season in silver and black, fans quickly found hope. Max quickly made the loss of Khalil Mack feel less painful because he showed huge promise and played with a giant chip on his shoulder. But with his volatile lifestyle off the field, was he just a one-and-done player? He totaled 47 tackles, 16 TFLs, four forced fumbles, and 10 sacks. Remind you that Mack only had four sacks in his rookie season. Max was dominant, but going to clubs, partying, and getting hung over were holding him back. He admitted to these struggles not only in college, but even up to the time of playing in Vegas. Rachel Washburn, now Mrs. Crosby, was pivotal to Max's success. He gives her a lot of credit for changing the direction of his life. Rachel supported him through college by working a job, paying bills, prepping his meals and supporting him mentally. It was in Las Vegas that Max had the climax of drinking alcohol. He knew that he was messed up and needed help, and that if he neglected the problem further, he could hurt not only himself, but his family legacy. He was running on fumes and knew deep down that he wasn't the best that he could be, and it wasn't going to last much longer. He entered rehab in March 2020 with the help of Rachel. The move has proven to be life-changing for Crosby. He took a step of maturity and impacted his family for the better. If you struggle with addiction, 
please seek help and be the change for those around you. Max humbled himself and took a leap of faith to get his life in order. You can too. If his rookie season wasn't good enough, in year two, Crosby statistically looked to regress, totaling 39 tackles, 14 TFLs, and seven sacks. But the man accomplished that playing a full 16-game season with a broken hand and torn labrum. Who else do you know that played with this type of toughness? Nobody's like Crosby. If you can think of any, let us know in the comments. Now you know why they call him Mad Max. He has another name that was given to him by a highly respected football analyst, Brian Baldinger. Turn the corner. And he turned a corner like a giant condor on the move. He just jumps and leaps. Condor is obsessed with the process of becoming the best player he can be. Every single rep means the world to him. Whether it's in a game or practice, Max goes all out. This type of dedication has only been seen in a few athletes in our lifetime. Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant top the list. Those two guys are Max Crosby's role models. In fact, Max hired Tim Grover to be his personal trainer, the same guy who trained MJ and Kobe. In year three, Crosby totaled 50. 56 tackles, 13 TFLs, 30 quarterback hits, and 8 sacks. He played all 17 games. He anchored the defense and contributed greatly to helping his team make the playoffs. He was one of the constants in a season of chaos and turmoil, maybe one of the most chaotic seasons in NFL history, in which John Gruden was kicked out of the league for emails that were leaked, exposing Gruden using foolish and unmentionable language. Even worse, teammate Henry Ruggs was the cause of a car accident under the influence of alcohol, which resulted in taking the life of Tina Tinter and her dog, rest in peace. In year four, Max got a new deal on March 11, 2022, which happened to be the two-year anniversary of his sobriety. Crosby signed a four-year, $98.98 million extension. Max took his game to another level, totaling 89 tackles, 22 TFLs, 36 quarterback hits, three forced fumbles, and 12 and a half sacks. The Condor is continuing to perfect his craft. More importantly, during the bye week of that season on October 13th, 2022, Ella Crosby was born. A beautiful baby girl has been added to Max's list of accomplishments. She could be proud of her father for who he is chasing to become. In year five, another chaotic year for the Raiders, but Max still carried his weight and then some. He got 90 tackles, 23 TFLs, 31 quarterback hits, two forced fumbles, and 14 and a half sacks. He did all of this with a crippled knee for partway through the season. An incredible start for the beginning of his career, Crosby believes that he is the best at his position, period. But he also knows that he's not the best of himself as a player just yet. He knows he can be even better. And with many in the league singing the praises of Miles Garrett, Nick Bosa, TJ Watt, and Micah Parsons, it only drives him further to make his dominance as the best defensive player more obvious. So if you thought you saw the best of Max Crosby, stay tuned for the upcoming seasons. This man will continue to put the league on notice. And more impressively, he's been doing it with little to no help. The Raiders have been trash on the defensive side of the ball for far too long until this man came along. Raiders! Raiders! Crosby's becoming a legendary player before our eyes. He's not only chasing greatness by himself, he's affecting everyone around him to become better. His teammates would agree. The on-field performance is evident. Like Batman and Robin, Max's sidekick Malcolm Kuntz is turning heads and will get paid big money once he hits the open market. Nate Hobbs and Jack Jones are following Max's lead. AP and the Raiders added defensive tackle Christian Wilkins to the mix. Defensive tackle Adam Butler is putting in the work, so he's not left behind. All of the excitement Max brings to the building is going to wake up the sleeping Raiders. Let's not forget Max's son, Tyree Wilson, either. Once he meets his potential, the Raiders are going to be a great team to watch. You can't name many other players as dedicated as Max. 1,100 snaps of constant brute force show for it. Fans all over the nation are finally starting to take notice of it. But Raider Nation knew all along how special Max Crosby is. In 2023, he was ranked as the 59th best player in the NFL's top 100. In 2024, he was ranked as the 10th best. But we can expect that ranking to rise up even more. If you want to watch more content of your favorite players, please comment on who you want us to do next. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. The Raiders are iconic, and when the Raiders are winning, the NFL is better. Max Crosby's bringing them out of the shadows, and we can't wait to witness all their success. Thank you for watching The Halftime Show.